Courtney welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing so very well it is Christmas time and many of the journalers and many of the scrapbookers and the crafters or just documenters in general are doing December daily now if you haven't heard of December daily December daily is something that was created quite a while ago now by Ali Edwards and it is all about documenting your December it doesn't have to be a Christmas orientated thing but obviously that is the easiest route to go and of course as you can see a route that I have taken but it's all about documenting you know your simple stories all leading up to Christmas and that sort of spirit and feeling and family and all that sort of really lovely snuggly feeling of things so I have tried to do December daily so many times more times than I care to admit on film and I have never once completed a December daily and it really eats at me that I have never completed a December daily and I will put some cutaway shots of some previous ones that I have previously filmed for Patreon and had a big chat about it and everything like that they actually live in my daughter's room I have albums that I have started and never finished my daughter hoards my December daily books like nothing else I had to actually look through her room to try and find where she had them hidden and so I could show them on camera and so I thought I would do a December daily this year previous years things have stopped me like one of the years that I started my grandmother passed away during December and it I didn't realize that, that was the reason why I stopped but that I when I was talking to my mum about it she said well you stopped on that day because that's when Nan passed away and it makes total sense and then I had started again in my Midori Traveler's Notebook, I think last year. And our entire family got hit by a superbug. And we got gastro and the entire family, the in-laws, friends of ours, everyone got sick. So something has always stopped me. Or it just gets so busy that you just don't have time or you cannot find the time or you do not make the time to finish it, document it, all that sort of thing. So this year, I really wanted to give it a really good go and so this is currently my December daily this is only going to be a very quick video because I have so much to do I have my family coming next week and I need to whirlwind clean and prep and everything like that and wind down for the year so I thought I would just give you guys a quick peek into my December daily obviously it's not finished because it's only you know December 9th and I am behind I'm gonna admit that out loud I'm already behind but I have the photos and I have the stuff. I just need the time. So I'm going to be making some time this weekend to get all caught up. But I decided to go with the junk journal route. Um, previous years I have done albums. And I have also done it within my Midori Traveler's Notebook. Now, I did consider putting my December daily just in my journal, like within the pages of my journal and just following on from what I had already previously done. And I struggled so much with this because I wanted it to be chronological and I really wanted to make sure that what I was doing was going in, you know, December, I mean, November, December, all that sort of thing. So here's my November and I've got catching up to do for November. I've got catching up to do in life in general. And so I was like, oh, maybe I'll just leave a few pages and then I'll do my December daily. But because of the joy that my daughter gets from hoarding the December day daily albums, I thought, why not? Why not just do it in a book that she can fawn over and take to school for show and tell and just, it, even though it gets... <laughs> It gets ruined. Not ruined, but it gets well, well loved. And you'll see in the cutaway shots that my journals are falling apart, the older ones, purely because Lily loves them so hard. So I thought, why not just give her another album that she can add to her little December daily collection? You guys may not agree with that, but these, these books, these books give that kid joy. And if I can make that happen and add to her collection of two, even though um, I've got more, but they're within other books, she doesn't know that. And she's already eyed this off. And, and, and when it was blank and I had just made it, she's like, wow, mom, that looks really nice. <laughs> so... This is what I have done and I have actually used papers 
from previous December dailies. I had so much paper left over that hadn't been used, I literally repurposed it. I did buy some things for my December daily, which I will do some cutaway shots of so you can see the sort of thing. I didn't want this video to be mountainlessly long, so I will just do cutaway shots of some of the things. I bought paper, I bought ribbon, I bought Project Life cards, I bought ephemera from the, you know, the cheap store here in Australia. I bought bits and pieces, but I didn't, I tried not to go overboard because it's such a specialized topic and I'm only going to use Christmas orientated stuff at Christmas time. So once a year, that's enough. So I used some craft colored cardstock and this is a printable in my collage sheets for Patreon. Um, this is the original and obviously it's been turned into a collage sheet element and I've just printed it on clear sticker paper and stuck it on the front. And um, the cardstock is from my engagement invitations that I had lying around. So I've bound it with um, some red bookbinding thread, very very simple. Um, it wasn't anything to write home about, it was just a quick, quick job. So. Um, as you can see, there are holes in some of my papers, and that is purely because the album that it came from was done with big rings, um, like a ring binder almost. So I'm going to attach little charms and ribbons and things when this is finished and everything so that I'm not going to tote around. I have a little bit of fluff here, but I'm not going to tote around what I've got in my head. Like, I'm trying to make this as Christmassy as possible when it's finished so that Lily can enjoy it for years to come. So these little holes down here will be repurposed to hold ribbons and charms and beads and whatever I feel, whatever I think that she'll love. Um, so I have started, obviously, because we were like December 9th now, and photographs play a huge part in my life. Um, they always have and they always will. And so I did, I do have a lot of photographs in my December daily. I know um, a lot of the traditionalists do one photo, one story, but I take way too many photos for that sort of stuff. Um, so I did make all different types of number tags for Patreon and I'll insert some clips of some of those being made or just a couple of snapshots. Um, but I also use some of bits and pieces. Now my pages are all... Um, different sizes, different layers, and that's purely because the two journals that I took all my paper from were two completely different sizes. Um, so I had to use some as tip-ins, I had to use some as like foundation pages, and then if the pages were too short, I'd have to layer on top of that, but it's very, very tip-in palooza, as I like to say. So this is a acetate number two that is from my collage sheets, gold doily and a little gingerbread star and I've just turned that into a tip in there. Added some cool stuff that I've gotten in Happy Mail recently and cut up my photos. You guys know that I have no qualms in cutting up photos and using them in all different ways. So these are my planners that I'm currently using over Christmas and I've cut them down to make them fit that little page. And I do have to do that quite a bit because my pages are so oddly sized. So I've just done lots of different bits and pieces it is nothing you know amazing but because it's so layered and so textured it looks overwhelming but it's really really simple i promise you um project life things that i've cut down that were in a previous uh december daily and were blank so i just pulled them apart and added bits and pieces i haven't glued that down yet i used some windsor and newton gold ink on some of the pages as well very festive I did a whole heap of different tags, as I said before, some collage sheet elements that I have created for Patreon. I've also used bits and pieces of ribbons, stickers, um, sequins inside a shaker pocket, and I've just washi taped them because I don't own a fuse tool and I don't think I ever will. Um, so I love the idea of using sequins i did it in one of my previous journal entries but i decided i had needed some festive we don't have snow so i have sequins um, a little bit of journaling needs to go here i just haven't finished it yet um luggage tags as tip-ins little photos because they're such odd sized pages that i couldn't fit larger photos or i didn't want to because i took more photos on one day than normal so I made them small so that I could still use all my photos and still get the journaling I wanted done. That sort of thing. 
Project Life card sort of been cut down. This was a 4x4, but obviously a 4x4 doesn't fit, or if it did fit, it would get damaged with the, all the folding and everything. So I've had to alter a whole heap of my tip-ins because when you have so many things going on, when you close the book, things are going to get ruined, things are going to get bent. So I've had to experiment a lot with how my tip-ins work together. And, you know, some might not work. See how they're... You might not be able to see, but if it goes that way, this becomes a buckle, which will in, in turn give you a, a bend or something. So the tip-in has to work like this. And that is all part and parcel of doing a junk journal. You have to experiment, you have to play, and you have to move your tip-ins all different ways to make sure that they're not going to get damaged in the process of having your book closed. That sort of thing. It's like um, tip-in mechanics almost. So a lot of my tip-ins have to work a proper way in order to stay flat, in order to not get damaged. Um, and that's been fun working with that. It's been trialing and I've had to move tip-ins, change tip-ins, alter tip-ins to get them to work. But that's the fun of journaling is experimenting and trying new things and seeing if they work and if they don't work what you're going to do to try it thinking on your feet it's been really fun playing with this sort of look because it's been so long since i've done it so the four by fours had to get cut down they don't fit or when they did fit they would get bent at the corners more tip-ins up the top project life cards um I did get some a little miniature December daily kit that I've been using here and there. And Christmas stuff, extra photos that I didn't have anywhere to put them. Journaling needs to go here and here. I just need to find the time. Happy mail. I did get some happy mail. I made an order with Babette and she sent me, She well she didn't um, send me, but with her orders, her orders are packaged so, so beautifully that that was a highlight of one of my days. So I have her business card in here and one of her journal cards and also the card she sent me. Gift tags that I've got spare from old Christmases that I didn't want to reuse. So I have used them and I will put some journaling on there. Um, collage sheets that I've put in are uh, clear sticker paper and bits and pieces. I've got a stack of photos on my desk over there that need fixing and just pockets and things with Christmas tags and that sort of thing using some vellum to create a pocket. And that is currently where I'm at and then I've got like empty spaces for everything but I'll just show you the pages that this is kind of how they look before I get to them and add more and usually I will add more especially with the tip-ins I always add more tip-ins um, this is a pink ink um, that everyone has been asking me about this is the platinum mix free and the color is called cyclamen pink and I am obsessed it's like this bright bright pink ink and as you can see it is so bright and I want to use it on everything and anything I can get my hands on so this was actually um, this double page some of my pages were one-sided like Christmas paper were only on one side so I started adding my own artwork to give it a feel that's not just Christmas, 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 Christmas. It still feels like me. And I've noticed that throughout some of this, there is stuff that's missing that's part of me and who I am and the weird and the wonderful. So I'm going to come back in and some of these spots are going to have my art on them. I just feel like I'll probably do some watercoloring here. I feel like it's missing that aspect of me and that's purely from time constraints. So I'm going to spend some time on the weekend and inject some art into this. I think it's because I drew so much Christmas stuff for my collage sheets. I kind of got all christmas out. But I really need to put some of my own artwork in here. I, I, I have it in my journal. So it needs to be in my December daily as well. So some of the blank pages. This is my favourite tip-ins, another collage element. And as you can see, my pages are all different types, different sizes, um, just odds and ends that I've tried to repurpose. This is a pocket in here, as is this. So that'll be cute to add like a little journaling tag or some photos or something. Here and then I think I glued yeah I glued these two together because they were both blank and I didn't want any more white paper. 
um, adding um, adding a journaling card and then as you can see those holes are there and that will get beautified adding little stickers and tabs and things and some acetate from an old journal that I pulled apart of course I can't there we go so I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that but I really loved it and I, it's been floating around my studio for a while so I'm kind of giving a second life to things that would have been already forgotten, which is one of my mottos in creating things like this. I love giving use and life to things that have been forgotten and stuff like that. Um, I will quickly show you while I'm sitting here, the thing that sits next to me when I do my journaling is this. And this has a mixture of tags, and ribbons and washi tape um, and I have like a little container of ephemera all different Christmas ephemera um, this looks like a lot but my mum's coming next weekend and she and I are gonna do it together um, I have all my numbers and things in here um, some of the papers and things that I've purchased a buttload of Project Life cards that I am going to share with my mum and my girlfriend Sienne when she comes to visit for a crafty date. And I've got like ribbon and stuff like that. This is just, my papers are in a different spot because there's just no room in here. But I will take some cutaway shots of that for you guys. But that's generally what sit sits next to me when I'm creating in my December daily. So I can grab anything that is Christmas orientated. You know, clear stickers with ugly sweaters on them, that sort of thing. I don't know why she's in there, but she's in there too. Apparently, I was cleaning my desk. So that is what is sits near me when I work on my December daily. Oh, and I have, you know, I have Christmas stuff everywhere. It's like Christmas spewed on my desk. I have bits of ephemera everywhere, collage sheet things that I've worked on. This is some of the December daily kit that I purchased from Ali Edwards' site. So I've got that all sitting here for me to work with. Um, but yeah, that's a general look, a quick look, as quick as I can possibly be, of my December daily. Are you guys participating in December daily this year? Um, is it something that you have thought about and never wanted to do? Um, if you would like some more information or even maybe a closer look at creating a junk journal like this. Um, I'm happy to do another video about it, but there are some great videos already on junk journals. I don't know if my is anything to go by, so um, you may hate my, <laughs> my junk journal, but I'm loving the way that it looks. I'm loving the interactivity of it, and I know that Boo is going to have a really, really good time hoarding this for many many years to come I just have to make sure that I keep on top of it and make sure that I get all my photographs that are sitting currently on my desk into here with my journaling and also find some time to create some art within it I will talk to you guys very soon if you have any questions please pop them down below I'm happy to answer them as much as I can um, but if you want to see any more or some creations of some junk journals or binding a junk journal on camera just pop it down below and if there's enough yes pleases I'll make a video on that but thank you so much for watching have a wonderful holiday and i'll see you guys very soon bye not me stress about worry about you know it should be really about capturing silly moments and you know really just looking back on them and 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 seeing them as a thing that you love not seeing the thing oh you know wasn't that good or you know i could have done better and stuff like that do you think i say that about my journals that i've got you know how can I say, oh, this journal could have been better? You know, I cherish this journal. This is the this is like the first brick in my journal house. Without this, I would not have the house I am living in now. This is my foundation. You have to have a foundation before you can build a mansion. A journal mansion. Gee, my my <laughs> my analogies are terrible today. But you need to have a foundation before you can have a house and this is my foundation and this is the first brick in my you know the cement layer i was obsessed with hansen I'm obsessed with hansen <laughs> i will never admit that on youtube so your ikis have got that but 
This is just a quick, well it's not really quick, it's about 20 minutes, but that's okay. Um, I feel like a, that message needed to be said so that you guys could really understand that journaling is not something to stress about. It is not something to worry about. It is if you haven't journaled for months and months, please get your journal out and just start writing. If you're worried that you're so far behind that you don't have time to print and cut, color and, you know, draw, just get it out and write. There is nothing wrong with a journal that's just got writing in it. Believe me, and I know that sounds ridiculous coming from me with all the craziness that's happened it happens in my journal but I have come from a, a really really basic basic place and I have journaled throughout my entire life I'm 32 years old and I started almost 20 years ago